Ladies and gentlemen, I am Star Lord Nuthor Seven, your planetary defense commander. Has science gone too far? Of course they have. You'll have to forgive me. I thought I would start out with a bit of a smile, if I could, because the subject we are about to discuss is very serious. And on my level, it's very dangerous. If there's one thing that gets me a whole lot of heat, it's talking about active volcanoes. As you can see, these are the active volcanoes we have around the world, and there are a lot of them. Though, science will tell you, hey, no, man. Volcano activity is average. It's always average. No matter if you have erupting volcanoes in Galapagos now, erupting volcanoes in the Caribbean, erupting volcanoes in Guatemala, which are killing people, erupting volcanoes in Hawaii, erupting volcanoes all along the Alaskan chain, all along here, somehow along the Ring of Fire, there are no erupting volcanoes in the United States up into Canada. Not counting the lower, I mean, not counting Alaska, of course, in the lower 48. So, this is something that someone pulled for me a while back. Showing plumes that look like they're coming out of the ocean, which would come from a, volca a volcano field there. Um, and there are volcano fields in the ocean on record. And so, now I'm going to make a video on Chris when he gets to a hurricane. Anyway, so looking at here, now that the new temperature analysis for Friday has come out for Southern California, a lot of places are above 115 degrees. Heat records have been totally broken this year, and especially over the last few weeks. We've seen the all-time highest temperature on Earth broken, the all-time lowest temperature on Earth, meaning the lowest average temperature, which is 109 in Oman, meaning when you woke up, it was 109 and never got cooler that day. So, with heat records breaking across the world, and everybody... Um about ready to rehash an abortion debate from 1992. And it really feels like since 1992, all we've been doing is arguing about abortion and gay marriage. Like, literally. And, you know, having the media tell you, if you think there's a problem with America, vote. Voting will fix everything. Just vote, man. Like, they didn't have votes before. You know, like, 1950, 1940. Like some have votes sold everything in the past. We need a new system. Trust me. As your planetary defense commander, our system is totally broken beyond repair. Okay, California's last eruption. This is at the California Sun. And take a guess when it was, if you don't already know, man. California's last volcano eruption. Well, it was 1915, May 22nd. Eruption of Mount Lassen sent from Red Bluff about 40 miles away. With floods, wildfires, and earthquakes, Californians have plenty to worry about. But don't forget raining lava. Okay, great. To be sure, the threats posed by California's volcanoes are by no account imminent. Well, if they were, would you tell us? You know, um, and how would you know if they were imminent? Because when I was clicking over that other thing, it was saying that uh, with eight threatening volcanoes, USGS says California deserves close attention. Sometimes it moves fast. Sometimes it moves slow. The entire surface of the earth is in motion. So yeah, volcanoes are like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're going to get. But the terrifying rivers of lava now inching across Hawaii have been a reminder of how devastating they can be. Yeah, they are terrifying. Put in Hawaii lava just in case you don't know anything about what is going on in Hawaii. We have had a volcano erupting there for 
two months, why it grows each day, the lava that, and this lava is flowing into the ocean. Ask yourself, if lava flows into an ocean, um, will the water get hotter? So over here is your, here's where the fissures are. And the fissures are all lining up along one line in Hawaii. So I'm worried they're going to break off and a chunk of Hawaii is going to fall into the ocean. That's a worry. Everybody says it won't happen. There's some of us who are like, I don't know. Seems like a possibility. And um, I don't mean to be flippant about this, but at a time where apparently both parties think abortion is the most important thing in the universe, I'm like, oh no. We are in hurricane season. You're about to have a Cat 1 hurricane spinning off the West Coast. I mean the East Coast, I'm sorry. On the opposite side. And um, we have a lunar eclipse coming up in two days. I mean a solar eclipse partial. And then a the longest lunar eclipse in over 100 years. Uh, and last season, when we had a big eclipse, we had Hurricane Harvey and then the hurricane parade started. So, to have so many people not worried about volcanoes at all, or hurricanes at all, even though you got a bunch of volcanoes popping off down here, got a volcano down here, it's just a strange time. And one thing about the, vol the Hawaii volcano I wanted to mention was that um, see, was that it's weird that all the lava that's erupting, that's coming out of the fissures, it didn't come out of the main volcano hole. It, it started to come out of the ground where the hole isn't. Which doesn't make a lot of sense to me. Maybe someone can explain that. Um, but yeah. So, volcano, it's a, it's a real situation. You know? Like, those are all the active volcanoes. Yeah, let's get back to the cool, fun article. California last experienced an eruption on this week in May 1915 when Mount Lesson sent pulverizing streams of volcanic debris down its slopes. The southernmost active volcano in the Cascadia Range, Lassen rises roughly 10,400 feet just east of Redding. Between May 19th and 22nd, lava spilled from the peak, creating waves of rock, ash, and melted snow that stretched some 25 miles, obliterating everything in its path. Oh. There was snow when it melted? Weird. Powerful explosion happened in the afternoon. You've already said this, man. May 22nd, we know. When a volcanic, when a volcanic plume shot from a vent and rose five miles into the sky. It could be seen as far as Sacramento, while ash rained down in Nevada. And I've kept this story for about over a year, year and a half. But now it seemed right to bring it out. Newspapers gave accounts of bridges, barns, trees, and a handful of homes being swallowed up in the cattle ranching valley below. The peak. Thousands of heads of livestock were said to have drowned. Remarkably, there was no loss of human life. And then it was over. A mere blip in geological terms. The much larger 1980 eruption of Mount St. Helens, also part of Cascade Range, was the only volcanic eruption in the contiguous U.S. during the 20th century. Now, the volcano in Alaska, is, since 2017, has erupted like 36 times. It, too, has poured a lot of lava into the ocean. I would think that that's probably heating the ocean as well. A hundred years after the Lassen eruptions, the area known as the Lassen Volcanic Center may appear quiet. But it's no means done. I would agree. Geologists rate the region along with Mount Shasta, also part of the Cascade Range, and the Long Valley Volcanic Area in Mono County as a very high threat. Oh, that's interesting. You learn something new every day. Other volcanic areas, including those near the Selton Sea, you hear that, Gronix? And just north of Santa Rosa are considered high threats. Scientists can't make specific predictions or they would kill their family. About the timing of the California's next eruption, the major volcanic events tend to operate in massive timescales, arriving at intervals lasting hundreds if not thousands of years later. Did you hear what I said? Howard Lucas, an artist who lives and works near the mountain, based at Mount Lassen, said while locals 
are certainly cognizant of the volcano, the danger seen as largely theoretical, kind of like hyperinflation. So you don't worry about things that aren't real yet. Okay, great. He cited the stunning landscape of California's far north. I don't know, he said. It's just magnificent to live in such a beautiful place. That's what we see. All right. So, this ain't trying to scare anybody, but just logically, A, the things I tell you, like, you know, that while the media, and it seems like our government is working hand-in-hand -hand with them to distract us completely and keep America divided and conquered, while well, multiple vo volcanoes go off at weird alarming rates in my book and when you're seeing 100 degree temperatures um, it's weird this video I'm working on now it was like I went to put it together but it was just too scary yeah, there's the heat dome there's our heat dome and uh, talk about yeah the records all time records heat tide are broken look in California Riverside Ramona Van Nuys, Burbank and some of these records were set in 1913, 1912, around the same date as the volcano. So it's interesting. Um, let me get to the... And then Oman. Wait. Hey, don't worry, guys. Jupiter goes direct tomorrow, so I should have enough self-confidence to edit videos again. I miss my edited videos more than you do. Oman... Yeah, this was the lowest, meaning that was the lowest temperature of that day, although they corrected it to 109. I'm just saying that there have been a lot of... And then here's the horrible, horrible Japan flooding where 3.5 million people have been evacuated. And it, it, it's, it's tragic beyond definition or description. And so, yeah, we got serious problems, man. And it's time for the people to come together and realize that the media and our political system is not your friend, really, truly. And that of all the problems facing us, especially this hurricane season, which me and Cranky Weather Guy, are called the King of Weather Twitter, pretty sure the end of July is going to be a very active, interesting season. Then we go into August and September. So you guys remember Harvey and Irma and Maria and then four nor'easters, right? I, maybe. And like I said, now you got that volcano that's just sitting off the coast right now. It's major. What is it not? No, oh, that's Selena Gomez. Yeah, she's beautiful. Okay. That'll do. You guys have seen the hurricane, I'm sure. Anyway, so yeah, that's just me talking. And remember, I'm Star Lord New Thor 7. So when I bring you this information and I put my life on the line, dangerousness, I do it because I think it's the only chance we have. So that is why there was a lava bubble coming out of the ocean. Sm smiley face coming out of the Kiluiu video. But this is the what do you want? Smiley face? A lava bubble. Alright. So yeah, that's why I can bring you interesting facts and stories like this because I'm an independent YouTube channel. So the only way I can maintain to do that is on your contributions and donations. Because YouTube don't pay me shit. Technically, it goes out of its way to say, all right, let's see how little we can pay our people. And we will not have a customer service either. That way, we can take no complaints. And we'll be a techopoly. Where we'll technically blackmail the government. No, I don't know if they're doing that. I'm just, I'm just saying, they seem pretty damn powerful. Anyway, you guys stay cool if you do want to donate to my PayPal or my... Patron, or I have t-shirts for sale in the linky links and the information. I would super appreciate it. Yeah, I do put my life in the line all the time. I thought this information was important. So now, let's all run with it. But, remember to stay cool. I think the sun and the earth and the volcanoes would calm down if human beings would calm down. It's worth a shot, wouldn't you think? It's time to rally the realms and come together and stop letting the damn media control our minds. Stay cool. Peace out.